Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. We're still in lockdown here in England so this week we're going to take you for a walk around our local town of Haywards Heath. So I hope you enjoy the video. Another day, another walk. This time we're in Haywards Heath and uh, going through the woods. We're just reliving a walk we did during the first lockdown on those lovely sunny days. We could bring our van under here if we that post wasn't in the way. Yeah, it was it. Get it out again though, would you? We're going straight on here into Blunt's Wood. It's not too bad really, is it? Oh, I, I was. Wait till we get down to the little, where the little river is. Yeah. That steep bank. Let me see. Carol's having her first go with the DJI Pocket 2. It really is a nice little camera. So small, stabilised and so easy to carry with you on a walk. So it's pretty muddy here. If you buy the combo pack, it even comes with a little wireless microphone that's really good and can pick you up even when you're not facing the camera. So as Carol said, we're out doing a walk that we did so many times during the first lockdown. Actually, it's quite good here. It doesn't feel slippy. I think this is all private land, but so many people walk here and nobody seems to mind. So this I thought would be the worst bit, but it's not too bad really, is it? Well, there's, this is the most water we've seen in here before, I think, isn't it? Well, it's a lot higher than, well, there, was there any water here at all? No, it normally they, runs fairly dry, fairly dry, I think, yeah. But it can obviously go a lot higher. So we're basically going to be walking in a large circle through the fields and then into the town of Haywards Heath. There's a beautiful house just over the hedge here. I'll show you a better view in a minute. There's also a new house being built here on a nice large plot. Looks like they've got a bonfire to get rid of some of the rubbish. So this is the house I was talking about. What a beautiful setting in amongst all these lovely open fields. Oh, look, massive tree has fallen down here. It wasn't like that last time we were here, was it? Crumbs, you wouldn't want that one falling on you, would you? Last year, a much smaller tree had fallen at this point, and we brought our saw and cut that back. But there's no way we could have coped with this. How to see how old it is. I've been experimenting with the drone filming us on these walks and I'm trying to work out the best way to use it but I'm making progress I think. We're both getting splashed again. Yeah well I did say did you want me to wear my other things so you'll have to put them in the wash again, I'm afraid, Chutney. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's a little pond in the center of this field but it's so muddy I think I'll just send the drone to have a look also in this field is this little water treatment plant which I think is probably handling the waste from that large house but I'm not sure lots of building work going on in Haywood Seath at the moment on the right hand side is new sheltered accommodation complete with its own medical center we're panning round now to show the rest of the town in the background we're looking towards the South Downs where we go for some of our longer walks and that crane you can see in the distance that's sort of the main high street area All right, I think we're at the worst of it. We had a tiny little bit of sun today and it's brought all the midges out. There's thousands of them along here. With a bit of luck, they'll all get killed off by the next frost. Yeah. Doesn't sound too bad at the moment. Okay, after the car. This is pretty quiet actually because on some occasions we had to wait there several minutes before we could cross. They're kicking at the walls, yep. you hear a call from right we have to they... Now just down here on the left is a big old property that's been empty for quite some time. I don't know, it's still unoccupied isn't it? Yeah. It's got a big security fence around it. Yeah, let's have a look. Now I've no idea if this is still used as a police dog training area. If it is, then I would imagine it's used for training search dogs. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I just imagine they're going to knock the whole thing down, aren't they? Okay. Start again. This used to be the main road, but it's uh, totally blocked off now. And quite often we see a little camper van parked just down here on the right hand side doing a bit of wild camping but with all this traffic here it's not a pleasant spot is it really it's very noisy but yeah during the day with all that traffic yeah anyway we're going left here mm, so there's a pond here as well i've never noticed that pond before probably wasn't any water in it last time no it. Yeah. Okay, we're going this way. Town centre. When coronavirus first started, you would get people on this path wall, uh, waiting for you at the end, wouldn't you? Yeah. And too frightened to walk too past. Too frightened to walk past each yeah. other. Yeah. I don't think they'd bother now. Oh look, this is all new building work here as well. It's like there's some more houses going up. There is building works going on all over Haywards Heath. I don't know if it's the same where you live. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. This is Beechhurst Park and it's the gardens of a once very grand Victorian house that has long since been demolished. From right outside. The London to Port Slade Roman Road used to run right across this park. My heart. Nice view of the park. Then again, the park's got a nice view of them. What? There's a picture on there of what it used to look like in 1952. All right. In the First World War, Beechhurst became a military convalescent home for Haywards Heath Hospital, which stood just opposite the house's main entrance. I wonder when the last time this little train ran. It ran last year, so I don't know. No. I wonder if it will run this year. They reckon that 
every adult in the UK will have had the jab, both jabs, by August. But they're not going to promise it because they don't want to be accused of not delivering. I've had my first jab now. I got the AstraZeneca one. And Carol has got hers very soon. This is a terrific little park to bring your kids, especially if they like riding on little steam engines. It's where they work on the little steam engines, isn't it? Have you been on the train? Yeah, there's a little tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Ah, here's that dogwood I like. Yes. Now I know what it is. Dogwood. Uh, there were grapes on here last time we were here, weren't there? Remember. They're, st the they're still it's here. They're oh. still here all uh, shriveled up, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor dog. <laughs> the dog tried to jump the railway track but didn't quite make it. <laughs> right, we well, finished here then, haven't we? Yeah, so this is the Harvester restaurant. Yeah, uh, they've stopped delivering now, haven't they? Ever Have since they? the full lockdown, yeah. Oh. As we walked down the right hand side of this building, we were struck with a beautiful smell from these rather plain looking bushes. We believe this is a member of the class Dicots. Hmm, okie dokie, now we know. Right, we're going to walk through the town now. So, are we presentable? You're not too bad. I'm a bit of a mess. That's uh, Haywards Heath Police Station. I spent many hours in there working. We like the steaks you get from Miller and Carter. And before the full lockdown came, they were delivering via Deliveroo. This is our war memorial. There is a plaque here remembering Sergeant Arthur Knight, who won the VC in the First World War. Today the traffic is blaring, but on Remembrance Day, this part is all sealed off and people gather here in quite large numbers. As well as taking videos, I used to be into photography and uh, editing the photos in Affinity Photo. The marchers walk all the way through the town and eventually end up here at our town hall. Haywards Heath is twinned with two towns. The first is Traunstein in Germany and this is one of their post boxes and the other is Bondieu in France. We've now reached our public library which is still open even though we have Covid but you have to pre-order the books before you can collect them. It's a sad day today. The flags are flying at half-mast, in memory of Captain Sir Tom Moore. Sir Tom set out to raise a thousand pounds for charity, but ended up raising millions. In the centre here we have the old Haywards Heath Police Station, now turned into flats. On the left here we have Owen's Garage with its very pretty frontage and opposite the garage is the side entrance to Haywards Heath station which has recently undergone a refit. Normally this would be absolutely packed with bicycles but people are still not commuting to London. A solitary passenger walks through an otherwise empty train. I doubt many people are buying cars in an age where you're not allowed to drive them anywhere. Another empty train moves off towards an empty city. Just around the corner here 
we cross under the tunnel and here we're now at the main entrance to the railway station with a brand new Waitrose next to it. Just a short distance away is another supermarket, this time Sainsbury's. And this is built on the site of the old cattle market. Well, I hope you enjoyed our walk around Haywards Heath. And it has taken me quite some time to finish this film. But it's done now, so I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time for more adventures in the Little Red Camper.